Welcome to Minsk. Um, now this map is a bit interesting because uh, it's not my favourite map, but the main spots are going to be light tanks. You go here. Um, this kind of road right here is the main spot that you would want to go to. Um, there's no real reason to go anywhere else. Um, so just take this and there's plenty of bushes elsewhere if you do take some damage and you need to fall back. So just keep that in mind. Uh, there is nowhere really to passively scout in this game um, simply because it's just not built for it. Um, either side you're going to have heavies, um, medium tanks all within buildings so you're not going to spot them um, and your only chance is really for the TDs that are sitting back here or back here. Um, heavy tanks you can go here or you can go here. Um, either works um, but yeah let's now just get into the spot shall we. Okay, so the light tanks. Uh, exactly the same thing is going to be for both sides, so I only show this once. Uh, you just either go this way or you go this way, obviously. Uh, but yeah, you want to just not drive like me, but uh, you want to get into the uh, middle as fast as is possible. That is the fastest way to get there uh, through that gap, and the fastest way for the enemy light tanks is through here on this gap here. Um, don't be warned also. This river is very deep, okay? Especially in this part here and like these parts here. Um, you will drown. Um, if you try and make it and you go under there and you try and get back up, it won't work. Um, where you see this, this is the only real way across and like either side here a little bit. Um, but you can't cross anywhere here, here, here. It doesn't matter. Like you need to look at the map and see where you can cross. Um, so yeah, I'll just put that out there because I've seen so many people drown. Um, but once you're here, you just want to be uh, actively spotting. Um, just try and use um, these bushes if you can. Um, you could go um, kind of um, up and try and find a bush, um, like back here. If you if no one's sitting in here, like the TDs, um, then you could go and sit um, up and around here. Uh, because you will be able to spot people that are coming through, but only really do this one if there's no TDs here and two if you don't have anyone that's here um, Because if you allow people to Think that there's no one here then the light tanks will peek up you'll spot them Hopefully your team kills them um, and then this spot works or alternatively is if you've lost this side and they're pushing through you could sit here and as long as you're in this bush like this then you'll be fine and you'll actually spot anyone that's crossing here or crossing here. Um, so yeah, this bush is very nice. Um, it's the only passive spot that you can really do. Um, there's loads of bushes on the other side um, that you can passive spot, but like, there's no real point. Um, as I said, if you're going to be playing this map and you're in a light tank, just go to the middle and just get this road secured. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for light tanks. Okay, so for medium tanks. Um, the spot that I'm going to show you is this spot over here, um, and I will show you obviously for both sides. Um, you can go here, don't get me wrong, but like, there's no real point of doing this, um, because most of the damage is going to be over here for you, and you can afford to actually flank through here um, and get some decent damage done. Also, if you, your team's not going to secure this position, you can easily fall back um, to one of these bushes back here, um, which I'll show you in the tank destroyers. Um, but yeah, like this spot is so easy to defend as well, so there's not really too many reasons not to go here. Um, but yeah, once you get here, you just want to just be around this kind of area. Um, you really don't want to overpeak this, um, like, I don't even know what it's called. It, it's called a corridor, right? You don't want to overpeak this corridor, um, like this. Uh, always try and go hold down, and remember that this bottom bar here can easily be destroyed as you can see so you can shoot through this um, it's not like the actual like being able to shoot is above this bar um, it's all the way through that so keep that in mind go hold down and just try and keep that uh, keep only your turret facing them uh, if you're in more, more of a heavily armored tank that's got good hull armor then you could side scrape on this corner uh, keep in mind that they actually have a sticky out bit uh, by these stairs so they're only going to be visible here or if they go up there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much this side um, that it's covered. Like you can go through the middle, uh, through this bit here and you'll be able to shoot through the middle um, if you so choose. 
Um, and then once you win, you can then push through into their side. Um, but just keep in mind, as you're crossing, you're going to have one, two, three spots that you're going to be shot from. Um, so you're going to have to go across very fast. Um, and I would always recommend you go across as close to the red line as possible. Um, because as you can see, um, it's actually outside their render range for anyone that's sitting here. So if you, all you have to do is just go all the way to the back and any heavy tanks that were over there um, or over here in this kind of position are not going to be able to shoot you anymore. Um, so yeah, that's very useful to know. Um, but let's now move on to the other side of the map and show you that. Okay, so from the other side, hello little uh, FCM36. Um, over this side, the, the way that you want to go is this side right here. Um, there's no point going around here, you just take too long. Um, and there's no point going around here because you're just exposing yourself for no reason. Uh, be warned, like, this bridge, people, you can fall off of it, okay? Like, there's so many times that I see people, these are not solid, okay? Like, they're destructible. So, if you push someone off, they're gonna go off. Like, there's nothing that they can do about it. Um, so yeah, don't be pushing on the bridge because it's just gonna get someone killed. Um, and then once they go down there, then there's no, like, turning back. Exactly the same thing for this side. You just work with the um, the bar area, um, and you'll be able to shoot them. Um, for this spot here, you can just obviously just go hold down. Um, not hold down, sorry. Uh, use these stairs to your advantage. Um, and just, you know, side scrape out. Um, you can go up here. Um, and I did actually think that you could go hold down here. But unfortunately, you're going to have to need a, at least a taller tank than the Leo. Um, because, well, it's just not going to work. Um, this is not destructible here, and nor is this uh, spot behind me, so this is going to be a bit awkward, but you can turn around here. You can use this. I really, really don't recommend, like, using this. Uh, just take your shot and pull back, but, hey, if someone wants to use it, then go ahead. Um, that's pretty much medium tanks for this map. Okay, so, for the heavy tanks. Um, going to show you this side. Uh, you could go over here with a heavy tank if you so choose. Um, 277 can work quite well over there actually. Um, and other tanks. But there's two spots over this side that I want to show you. Um, one of them is going to be, well technically free. Um, side scraping on these corners, obviously as you know you could do it the same there. Uh, but the first spot that I'm going to show you is this right here. Um, like this. As long as you go in between these kind of uh, things, uh, these like blocks here, and you have, um, if you have a taller tank, um, say you're in something, I don't know, E100 or a mouse, like, you can go up here and just go hold down, <laughs> hold down in E100. You get what I mean though, um, and you'll see over them. Because uh, the 277 is very, very short, like, you're not really going to be able to do it there, but uh, you get what I mean. The only problem is that these kind of, um, these cinder blocks, uh, you can only shoot in between them. Like, you won't be able to shoot through them. And the same is going to go for this bit here. You're only going to be able to shoot in between them. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, I will show you that spot in a second. Um, but the other spot is just in the middle of the map right here. Um, you can go hold down. You can use this to your advantage. They're only going to see your turret. Um, you just need to watch out for quite a few locations. Um, Four in total. Um, this here, this here, um, this here, and obviously all the way over there. I mean, technically five as well if they push up to here, but you'll see them there beforehand. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the same for the other side, um, just in this middle bit. Uh, but yeah, let's quickly go over to the other side and just show you those cinder blocks quickly. Okay, so when you're over the other side, um, you just want to find a spot that you can sit in. Um, as you can see, you go like this. Um, you're relatively safe um, like this. You can shoot over there. Uh, you can even go back a little bit, shoot people that are over there or there. You'll find a spot that you like. Um, also, another spot that I did miss, um, which is just that spot right there. As long as you're in a tall tank, you can go on and peek over that. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Um, besides that, if you really want to be super aggressive and don't want to go here, then you can go to this um, this like monument building um, right here. So either works. Uh, you're going to probably take some damage unless you're really, really fast. Um, but yeah, you're going to need a little bit of gun depression. As you can see, the 277 like does struggle with it a little bit. Um, 
but if you're in like a super conk, um, I've gone here before, um, but I mean, really ideally, if you're in a super conk, just go to the middle, because uh, you're a bit too slow to actually go to here. Uh, but yeah, that's heavy tanks, um, pretty much done. Okay, so finally the tank destroyers. Uh, the first spot that I'm going to show you is the one that I talked about earlier, um, which is just here, you just sit in the bush, you can get some easy shots on people that are over here. You can even go into this bush and you actually get some shots on the middle if they like kind of over push a little bit. Um, just keep in mind this bush is better than that bush, but that's kind of besides the point. Um, there's plenty of other bushes around here. So basically anywhere along here, as long as you're in a bush, you're fine. Um, you can even go up here because there's bushes over here that you can shoot across into the middle or anywhere else that you might want to go. Um, so yeah, honestly, just for TDs, you just find a bush at the back and you just sit in it. You can even go into the bush that I showed you for the light tanks, which is where I would recommend you go at the start of the game. Uh, just simply because you have lots and lots of vision to be able to shoot people. Um, so yeah, just go there. You have a good game. Uh, unless someone just YOLOs with an EBR. But even then, you can just back off, go behind this ball, and you're safe. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much this side of the map. I'm going to go to the other side, um, and then we'll wrap up this uh, this video. Okay, so the last spot that I will show you is this spot over here. Um, and this is probably the first spot that you should go to on this side of the map if you're in a tank destroyer. Um, I honestly don't see enough people go here. This bush is very, very nice. Um, you'll be able to shoot anyone in the middle here. Um, and also anyone over there um, and all you have to do if you want to get, go back into cover you just reverse back down here and you're pretty much safe um, any of these bushes really work um, I'm not going to go into any more detail than that because yeah um, the only other thing that you could do is sit behind here um, and then you'll be able to shoot people that are coming through here if you lose that but honestly if you lose this uh, this area here it's best just to retreat back um, because it's much easier to hold from over this way, especially the fact that you can just knock down some trees, give yourself some cover, and you can shoot through them, uh, rather than being over here and stuck in a corner and you can't even get back. So yeah, that has been Minsk. Um, if you did enjoy it, then you know what to do. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.